was robbed by someone that I trusted, that I had met on him, the dating app. We've only known each other for like 12 days. Yes, I know I'm an idiot for inviting some man that I didn't know to my house multiple times overall. Hey there, besties. Thank you for stopping by. I am Michonne Denise. We already got to stop and pause and talk about it. She want to say she was robbed by a guy that she met on Hinge. All right, fine. So you trying to tell me that you invite men over to your house and you only know him for 15 seconds. Y'all keep doing this mess. Y'all keep doing the same stupid stuff. You think that what it is that you see on the internet is real? You think it's real life? You trust what you see on the internet? You trust people enough that you don't even know to come over to your house. Where does common sense enter the uh, picture at all? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I have no empathy and no sympathy. And she should be thankful to God right now that she is around to tell this daggone story, okay? It could have been a completely different story. She's lucky that all that happened was she got robbed. If she got robbed, because I don't know if I even believe this story because it is so stupid that I don't even know that this could potentially and possibly be real. You know, all these people want to sit up here and just have attention, clicks, likes, and views. This girl, if you was to look at her TikTok, which we are not going to go see her, we're not going to go harass her, even though she turned the comments off. Because she knew this was stupid. But over here on her page, all she's doing is doing all these different yoga poses with her legs open and her legs behind her ears. For all in the last a week and a half. I trusted him, although um, there were a lot of red flags. So me. First of all, I don't know how you can trust someone that you don't know. Talking about, oh, I trusted him. That's your problem. That's your problem. You don't know what trust is if you think that you can trust someone that you don't even know. I don't give a damn about 12 days. Because if he robbed you on the 12th day, then that means you've known him for 11. You can't know anyone enough to know that you trust them. To be bringing them over to your house. To know that anything that they're saying is true. This just proves to me again with all these breakdown videos is the fact that you women are desperate. You're just desperate. You can be out here, you can be talking all the sugar honey iced tea, all you're doing is making yourselves miserable, unhappy, looking like plum damn fools, you're still not getting married, you're still not finding a man, and all you're doing is getting taken down, taking an L over and over and over and over again. And you put this out here on the internet. Now, now Lord knows why. Oh yeah, that's right, she gotta warn people, but we ain't gotten to that yet, girl. Come on, what else? Maybe that I can't even count them. It was super lovey-dovey and kind nice you know the whole yeah and i was very trusting and too nice let me help you you were stupid you talking about he was trusting no no i mean he was lovey dovey oh so he laid it down is what you're saying so when you're out here showing all these poses where you open your legs and put your legs behind your ears um you really did that with him and he laid it on you and you were trusting of him for um 11 12 days for no other reason than you opening your legs, taking all that pleasure. That's all that matters. Again, shout out to Zillionaire, a D and a G. And that's what half of you are. That's why you have the results that you do. Because none of this makes good God sense. Y'all don't want to be married. Y'all don't want to be married. You just want someone to take care of you at the end of the day. Which doesn't make sense when you want to be so independent and you can take care of yourself. Talking out of both sides of your mouth. Trying to get men to do whatever it is that you want them to do for you while you have to do nothing for them. Or all you have to do is open your legs and that should be enough. And he stole from me. Somebody I thought that actually liked me. And we actually started, well, we're pretty much official. Um, well, you were pretty much official in 12 days. What are y'all, 12 the only time you are official in 12 days is when you're in the fourth, fifth, or sixth grade. That is a completely different story. You are a grown woman, supposedly. Uh, when Mr. Let Go, shout out to him, said that women are children, he did not get that wrong at all. Women are just grown children. No daggone sense. No common sense. Don't know what they doing. Swear they know everything. Don't want to listen. Always being defiant. It's just... Every day, over and over and over again. Two days ago, I'm assuming now we're not. Um, I've, I've called him. I have FaceTimed him. I have tried. Help me understand why anyone is trying to call and FaceTime and reach out to somebody that robbed them. You want them to come back and do more? 
Now we know that we want, she wants him to come back and do more. We know what the more is, but you want him to come back and do more, take more. Like, like, why is she reaching out to this person? Why is she trying to call this person? Why is she trying to DM them, TikTok them, Snapchat them, whatever the heck it is that she's doing? Where the police? Why are you not calling the police? What did he steal exactly? Because I don't think I heard that. Oh, I was robbed. What did he rob? What did he take? What does he have? Give us that information, girl. You sitting up here trying to contact him. This is so stupid. Text him nothing. I've tried all day, um, not all day, just for a few hours. I tried him on my other phone and other numbers, nothing. I've even DM'd him on Instagram, nothing. I'm going to show you a picture of him. He's in Dallas. So you guys know who he is and ladies beware. I think he does this, maybe on regular. I'm not sure. This is the first. So this is code for she's still feeling some kind of way because she all lovey-dovey and everything after 12, 10, 11 days. But she's really showing these pictures so that she can show women don't go for him because she wants them herself. That's my two cents. That's what I think. Because she better not be lying while she out here putting this man's picture out here like this, um, talking about him negatively, accusing him of doing such things. Because if he comes back and hasn't done it and she could be in a world of trouble and then showing his picture, child, you go ahead and keep messing around all you want to because some dude ghosted you. He pumped and dumped you at the end of the day and you can't take it and you're upset. That's just my thought. Allegedly, I do not know. But why is it that she got to be calling him, texting him, trying to get at him, trying to talk to him? What does there to talk about? What are you trying to reach out to him for? And as soon as he sweet talks you and he gets you back into bed, then what? Then you end up pregnant. Then what you going to do? Y'all will do anything for a man except for the right thing to get a right man. First picture of him. He has a tattoo on his neck and tattoos on his arm. Another angle. This is his dating profile on Hinge. Ladies, if you see him, please just don't match with him. Don't. I know, 12 days. I know, I know. You all are the gift that keep on giving us, 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 on giving us. Child, I mean, these things look like they're about to fall off. This one about to fly away. This is the crust up here for the hair. Y'all just will not give this stuff up, I swear. Yeah, 12 days. What is wrong with me? It's like the, the I can't even like conceptualize this. The attraction was, was there for sure. But you ever just meet somebody that you just have like this connection with? That's what it was. In 12 days, you didn't have this great connection. No, girl. You know what what the connection was? That thing between your legs started making some noise, started making some daggone uh, juices, and that's what it was. That's what it Just come on and admit it, child. Because this don't make good God sense. You wanted to F him. You did. And then you thought it was a relationship. And he pumped and dumped. And then I guess he stole, according to you, allegedly. Because you ain't said what the heck it is that he stole. What did he steal? The TV? A bed? A crumb? Some food? Some money? A debit card? A credit card? What did he steal? Like, elaborate. Since you want to get out here and you want to word vomit, elaborate. This damn uh, spider is about to take off, though, child. Sheesh. But... What I didn't realize was it was all fake. Okay? It was fake. Did Coming from the person who's completely fake in front of us is going to talk about somebody else being fake? Goodbye, ma'am. No, didn't realize. So, yes, I'm an idiot for trusting somebody in 12 mm -hmm, days. Mm -hmm. I've learned my lesson. Mm -mm, um, I've accepted mm -mm. what's going on. I'm more upset at the fact that I trusted this person and he just did that to me. So, um... Yes, I am very naive sometimes. Girl, if any of this is true, is it funny? This is why I don't know if this mess is true. These people have no sense of anything. No self-awareness. No common damn sense. No thought about their own daggone safety. And then we'll sit up here and say it's somebody else's fault. Where do y'all bear any responsibility for the situations that you put yourselves in? 
You brought a whole man to your house that you didn't know. Now you're out here acting like you was official. You was officially fucking him. That's it. That's all. Stop it. Call it what it is. You're being delusional. This is straight and total delusion. All right, I'm making a second update of the guy that robbed me from Hinge because the girls that I mentioned didn't want to be um, in the video. So we're supposed to believe that this woman had $10,000 to be stolen from. So what, you got $10,000 hanging out in the house? So we're supposed to believe that this person right here has $10,000 just, what, sitting around in the house? I don't believe this story at all. This person wants attention. That's what I think. I don't believe this story at all. But when I made that video, um, one girl had um, made a post and said, or made a comment saying that she knows him, that's his, that's her baby daddy. And I was like, he got a kid? Oh, you're um, surprised that he has a kid, the man that you don't know, that you were basically saying that you were falling in love with after 12 days that stole from you allegedly $10,000. Now you all, oh my God, he's got a kid? Girl, you don't know if he got HIV, A, B, C, D, E, F, or G, let alone a daggone kid. Then God forbid if there is a venereal disease and she gets it, it'll be all his fault. Like we're just gonna ignore all this and it'll be all his fault. Not only does he have one kid, he has two kids. And I did not know that. And it was on his profile and he never mentioned it. Um, because what's on people's dating profiles on Hinge is what's the, the PS de resistance of everything, right? What's on someone's dating pro... This is how stupid you people are. You people are so damn dumb. You are not living in reality. Y'all are not living in reality. Gentlemen, I am so, so sorry that you have to go through this. This is absolutely ridiculous. Mm, mm, mm. The human race, I don't know if it can continue because anyone that would want to deal with this, the only reason they would want to deal with someone this delusional, crazy, and desperate is to take something from them, whether it's what sex, money, or anything else. What, 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 what? What would this woman be like being somebody's mother? Like, seriously, let alone the spiders, the makeup and the weave. She's got no damn sense at all. Not even common. Not even. All she's got is dumb sense. Dumb, 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 dumb. Um, we, so we pretty much got into a little group chat on Instagram and went back and forth about what he's done. He's done a lot of robbing and just he doesn't work. He doesn't so they all these women going to get together on an Instagram chat. They still just, it's all about social media. It's a, what? let's get to get on an Instagram chat. So you couldn't call each other and talk. You can't hear each other's voice. You can't do that. If he's in Houston, y'all couldn't meet at the local McDonald's, Starbucks, something. No, everything got to be done on the internet. That's why you don't know anybody. That's why you don't know anything. That's why you're getting in these dumbass situations because you don't have the sense that God gave you. And why aren't you talking to the daggone police? You too busy trying to get all the tape on him and trying to get other women to stop dating him because you still want him. If his ass can't, this will be another girl drinking the dumb biatch juice like that one girl said. If that boy called up right now and said that he wanted to see her, she would go. You can't tell me nothing different. He would say, meet me at the hotel using the $10,000 that he allegedly stole from her to get a daggone room. And she would willingly go. He doesn't like working, he doesn't leaving working. He just likes to flex, flodge, with fake money, real money, whatever is stolen. And yes, I know the way he looks. He looks like a scammer, a drug dealer, da-da. I know, but attraction is attraction and... He doesn't look like a scammer or a drug dealer. He looks like a, a, a little boy who's just out here trying to date. And if you're saying that it's the attraction, then you're saying that you're attracted to scammers, low lives, and drug dealers. So this is your typical MO, basically. And we already knew that. We already knew that. By the way that you talk, this woman cannot, this woman could not get a VP from Bank of America. How? How would this woman get a man of some substance? How? No empathy and no sympathy. Go on, girl. What else? Go for that. Um, so we, we pretty much went back and forth about what he's done. He has, he's, he's known to be manipulative, uh, abusive. He actually slammed my door one time and started yelling at me and screaming at me to not break up with him. He's not. So when was she breaking up with him? When was she breaking up with him in 12 days? She said she had just be, they just became official a couple days before the robbery. See the lies? 
None of this makes sense. She lying. This is another clout story. She over here trying to act like now, making him the bad guy. Oh, he started slamming the door when I tried to break up with him. Girl, you wasn't trying to break up with nothing. What you was trying to do is break off some more to him. That's all you was trying to do. Now you want to lie so that you can look less stupid, but you're looking more stupid by lying about the whole situation even more. You was not trying to break up with him. If you was trying to break up with him, why are you trying to search for him, look for him, call him, DM him, text, text him, and all that type stuff? You're telling on your daggone selves. Y'all, see, this is what I'm saying. Y'all don't know when to STFU. And all you do is expose your daggone selves. He's not a safe person. He's not a good person to hang out with. And I have a really big heart and I'm a very trusting person. Very, very trusting. And now she's got all positives to say about her. All bad about him. Now she's so, so trusting. Just like the girl with the two twin babies. I do everything for everybody. Y'all just don't do anything wrong. Ever, ever, no way. It must be so nice to be so perfect and so stupid at the same damn time. I know I need to work on that. I will no longer be trusting anymore now. <laughs> I think I mentioned before, he took $10,000, so, yeah. And um, he told one of the girls that he's a kid with that he wants to take her shopping with the money that he stole from me. Yeah, he's been threatening me. I have messages, I have text messages of him threatening me, talking about he wants to chop me up and send, my, send me off in a box to my sister. Show it to us, because I don't believe that either. I don't believe that either, because if that is the case and you was being threatened, but you online telling all this, showing his face, exposing him, talking to all these baby moms and all, none of this makes good God sense. Now, mind you, it could be because craziness and foolishness is what these people deal with, but none of this, I believe at all. This is some made up crap so that this person could get some clout and get some people to follow her, have people talk about her, and then what? And then what, man? What is that going to get you? She still got the comments turned off. So what is that going to get you? I'm telling you, that man, that boy, that young, that young male could call this woman today and she would go. He's starting to me like he has called me every name in the book. Yes, every name. He Including the N-word. And where is, um, where the police? You ain't mentioned the police one daggone time. Where they at? You call your bank? Since you, or did you just have $10,000 lying around? Who thinks that this woman just has $10,000 laying around the house? Who? Who? He's very obsessive. He's very controlling. He will get mad if I don't text him back fast enough or don't text him back at all. Like he's one of those guys. In 12 days, but you wanted to be official with him and you still opened your legs to him. Girl, shut up. And so I'm actually really glad I posted that video because I was in a week, a moment of weakness and I was just so anxious. My chest was hurting all night. I was crying all night. I was just like, I can't believe this has happened. And I understand like, how can you trust somebody in 12 days? Well, when you like somebody a lot, you know, it just happens. I know. No, that's what 12 and 13 and 14 year olds do, man. Grown adults don't do this. Grown adults don't, well, grown adults with common sense don't sit up here and act like they're in love with someone after 12 days. And you telling me in 12 days, you've been through, oh, you're really attracted to someone. He's the best. You effing him. And then he's slamming doors. And then you're breaking up with him. And then he robs you. And then you're chasing him down. And then you find out he had, oh, God, jeez. Who child. Donald Trump, can you please come back to take TikTok away? Please. But um, anyways, I did contact the police. Um, I made a report. I will be um, looking into getting a lawyer, I think, and then also getting footage of my cameras of, in my apartment. Unfortunately, I may not be able to see that money ever again because I know that these things can be kind of hard to like, you know, they gonna be hard. And that's why I'm trying to make trying to, I'm trying to be in a better mood, okay? At least I warned a bunch of girls in the Dallas area about him. So at least they'll look out for him and it won't happen to any of the girls. So. Happened to me, but hopefully it won't happen to anybody else that's naive and just whatever, so. She certainly does seem like she's happy for someone that just got scammed out of $10,000, allegedly. I don't believe none of the story. None of it. She ain't even telling it appropriately. It don't make good God sense. You're just stupid. You just mad because somebody pumped and dumped you. Talking about now it's, oh, I can't even prove it. You're right. You can't prove anything. You run off at the mouth, but I ain't seen one police report. I ain't seen one policeman. You know, these people record everything, but you conveniently didn't show anybody the police, the police report. No, you can't prove $10,000 unless it was in the bank. So you trying to tell us that you just had $10,000 laying around the house. I don't believe it for one second. Child, I don't think you've seen $10,000 in your life. Stop it. 
She's lying. This don't make good God sense. That man, you don't want him to date anyone else. You mad. He don't want you. He got what he wanted, allegedly. And now you mad because he's done with you. So now you want to do all this. You better hope that this is true because that dude could come back and sue you for deaf or daggomation. And honestly, if he does, we're going to be right here to watch and we're going to uh, um, laugh our asses off because this is so stupid and desperate. You reek of desperiosity, ma'am. You're going to get what you're going to get. But that's it. That's all. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Please consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one.